guys. It's Wednesday, just a little bit afternoon. Um, the afternoon crowd has not wandered in yet, but we do have some of the hardcore guys out here already. We are still just down from the Capitol building. I see a group down there. I'm going to go see here in a minute if there's some lost OAS group. But uh, we're still waiting on you guys. The bikers will be coming in on Friday. Starting to. And we've got another vet club that's not in Rolling Thunder. Um, they're just coming for us. Legacy, vet, Legacy Vets. Um, we've got a fella that's an OAS that's in one of their chapters out of Winchester. And he's bringing his guys, at least from the Winchester chapter, this weekend. So... We should start seeing some crowds this weekend. Again, I appreciate you guys helping out with the social media and keeping the word going. And uh, I'll get it on film if anything exciting happens here in a little bit. That's the kind of thing I like to see is whenever a bunch of young kids are walking by and they have an interest and curiosity and want to show their respect. Go right here. Know your ride. Know your ride. Read it, guys. Document. Picked up that one soldier's job. flag. Yeah! 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 <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, morale's a little bit higher today. Every day we're getting a little bit higher because we know that those of us that are here, we can count on each other to stay. We're not going anywhere. One person here, one person there shows up. It gets better and better. That never swore an oath. That never put your name on the dotted line. And you're still here. And we appreciate it. We thank you very much. Like I said, spirits are a bit higher today. We're a little bit more vocal. A lot of young kids that have been stopping by, um, you know, young teenagers. We've been trying to explain to them what's going on, why they're losing their constitutional rights that they don't even realize that they had. I'm recognizing a couple of new faces that I had not seen before. And like I said, the ones that I knew were here are still here. So. And keep plugging away. Hey guys, just letting you know, um, I just did a uh, little radio interview with the Mark Connors Report channel. Go over and subscribe him. Um, he is working to dispel those rumors that we were talking about. 
Um, he told me that he saw a video on YouTube that there were FEMA camps set up, or that they had FEMA come in and shut us down. He said that he heard that uh, there were people getting tear gassed and so forth. And then he also heard that everybody that's here is a tourist that's here. Um, that's a cute one. So, just so you can see, looking around me, there are no FEMA camps set up. There are no FEMA trucks. There are no UN military police here. All the cops that I've talked to have um, actually been very supportive and shook our hands and um, told us that they're happy that we're doing what we're doing. So um, give Mark Connors report a sub and tell him that you came from this channel and thank him for trying to get the truth out there about OAS. This is the flag that we've got up here. People that have come by and participated in OAS. Signing their names. Pretty cool. I am here. Where are you? Good question, guys. Where the hell are you? Isn't that pretty? Hey guys, I'm sitting here um, at a dinner with some of the organizational members working on some new plans for doing some media and things like that. We got some big news and things are going to be really awesome come this weekend. So, again, you guys, you need to hurry up and make your plans for making your way to DC. Get in touch with me if you have any questions about places where you can stay. Um, how to get to different locations.